Good morning. It is just after 4.30 a.m. and we are back in Zion. We drove another hour back up from Kanab and this morning the mission is to hike up to the canyon overlook and get some star photos. That is the goal. It is very early. It is very dark out here. We passed a ton of deer on the way up, so we were driving cautiously to make sure we didn't hit any of them, and we made it here. We're in the parking lot. We're gonna grab our gear and head up the trail for hopefully a couple of star shots. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. After a quick sprint up to a little ridge, it's just after, let's see what time it is. It's 5.37, so we have a little bit of light peeking over the horizon, but we're gonna hurry up and get some star photos. How crazy is this? That's sweet, man. Look at that, sun's coming up slowly. Got the ridge there, you can see the light peeking through. It's shooting stars, a little cold, but definitely worth it. See all those lights down there, barely? Those are all cars coming up. Can't see it just yet. See if we can pick up some light here. Once you get set up, then we can get the time lapse going. We got a good like hour out of it, maybe, before the sun comes up. Might be good. Let's check it out. about 7.15 now and the light is starting to come in. The, 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 the stars have subsided and blue sky is coming up and we have exposed where we're staying. We got up to the lookout spot. We weren't sure exactly what we were looking at. We were just taking photos of the stars. Tyler's got his tripod set up over here. Take you over here to take a look. But when that sun comes up, it's just gonna be incredible. But take a look at this. You have all of these winding roads with cars starting to fill it, and the light is just now, as I'm talking, starting to hit the ridge line. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> what do you think? Man, this is crazy. Now that the sun's up or starting to come up, you just see this crazy landscape behind us. This is unbelievable, man. <laughs> unbelievable. and look as the Sun comes up you can see what we were walking through look at this beautiful red sand sun has fully risen over the ridge. The light is coming in in the valley and there's probably about a dozen or so people up here. It is absolutely beautiful, the sun hitting our faces after a cold morning, but 9 a.m. it's time for us to keep moving. We gotta run down the trail and head off to the next adventure, which should be an interesting one. Let's go. Before we press on for an epic afternoon, it's time for breakfast at a quirky little cowboy themed diner right here in Springdale called Porter's. 
Thank you. This is gravy. And the kids got chicken fried chicken. Chicken, chicken fried chicken. We're actually told to get the pancakes here, but we go with something a little more savory to balance out for our next course. Thank you. Great. Good sausage, good biscuit, buttery, thick, fatty gravy. That's what we need to recharge and get on the rest of our day. This is it. Well, I was told you guys have a world famous. Um, what is bumble? <laughs> what is bumbleberry? A bumbleberry is a burple and a binkleberry that grows on a giggle bush. All right, this is this is getting crazy. Whew. I'm I'm in, I'm nervous. <laughs> After breakfast, we came over to this little cafe in the back of the gift shop because on the window at Porter's it says world famous bumbleberry pie. Now, if you tell me something's world famous, I'm gonna try it. And this is it. They warmed it up. Bumbleberry pie with bumbleberry ice cream. I guess it's supposed to be a berry. I've never heard of this. Let's take a look. Oh, it looks a lot like blueberries. Is this a weird way to eat pie? Let's try it. Whoa. Okay, hold the phone here. I mean, the crust, awesome. Sugar on top, really, really good. It has the flavor of a blueberry, but like crunches of raspberries or blackberries, you know those little tiny seeds? Oh, and they warmed it up a little. That's good, let me put that down. And this is the bumbleberry ice cream. Same. This one, without the little crispy seeds, it tastes like blueberry ice cream. Very good. Now, Let's try it together. Bumbleberry ice cream, bumbleberry pie, bumbleberries. Pie and ice cream? That doesn't, that's not a bad thing. It's never a bad thing. This is world famous. I've never heard of it, but I'll take their word for it. This is a very good slice of pie. So if you go to Porter's for breakfast, come get yourself a slice of pie at the back of the gift shop afterwards. This is great. After I finish this, it's time for an adventure. Tyler, you want a bite? Kind of do actually. That was really good. Maybe I'll grab a grab a spoon. Yeah, or just grab it with your hand. Hmm. This is like exactly what my grandma makes. You've heard? <laughs> wait, you've heard of bumbleberries before? Yeah, my grandma. I, now that I'm thinking about it, my grandma, she makes pies all the time, and she makes bumbleberry pie, and I've never asked her what it was. I've just always had it for dessert, so I have so to that, go back and tell her. So you can vouch this is a real thing? Yeah. Can vouch it's a real thing. I don't know about this definition of bumbleberry, but oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. Fueled up on bumbleberries and breakfast gravy, we cross the street and get ourselves set up to explore. The entire park is 229 square miles, so we figure the best way for us to see as much of Zion as possible was to seek out some electric assistance. Enter in park approved e bikes. Welcome to downtown Springdale. Everybody's here, hanging out. We got hotels, there's some ice cream, Zion Outdoors, Zion Bank, you're good. What do you think? How good is this? All this time you thought would never pay the price. That is good. All right, all right. We took the e-bikes this afternoon over to one of the most popular hikes in the entire park, and that is Angel's Landing. It's about four o'clock right now. We're gonna make our way up, try to get there by sunset, 
and it's this way. Let's go. Angel's Landing is a beast. As one of the most popular hikes in America, it's only a two and a half mile trek with a 1500 foot elevation gain. But it's steep, intimidating, and absolutely gorgeous. All right, if you look closely past Tyler, up on that little ridge, people are starting to climb up. That is our goal. We finished the straight bit. Now it's time to go straight up. It's a very steep hill. You make it? Yeah, let's do this. Here we go. How good, how good is my catch? Oh yeah. After a big sprint, we are rewarded by a nice flat spot up towards the middle. We're about halfway there and it is nice and cool in this little green area, this little forest where there's owl nests apparently. And I think we're about to hit another sprint upwards, but this is a nice break, a nice time out from the uphill climb we just endured for about 25 minutes. We press on. Up and up and up and up, back on the uphills. We're getting closer, but whew, it's a sprint. We're the only ones also going up at what time we got? 4.56. We're the only ones on our way up, We're passing everybody else on their way down. All right, made it up. Almost there, 0.5 miles. And our last stretch is on the cable line up to Angel's Landing. <laughs> this looks intense. Some people gave us some encouragement on the way up. So we gotta do it. I'm gonna switch over to GoPro so I have both hands free. And we're going straight up. Looks like it's slow going. Tyler's going up, everybody else is coming down. So we'll see what we can find. Sunset is starting right now. Last bit. Here we go. Is it? Yep. Oh my god. Really? Oh, enjoy it up here. Oh my god, we made it. Great. It's so awesome. Holy. It's so worth it. Yeah. Oh. There we go. We started down there. Came up all the way here. Look at this. River. Road. Runs through it. And there. Look at that. Not a good view. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Let me finish my snack. We have made it to the summit, the very highest point of Angel's Landing.
Vale la pena, the juice was worth the squeeze. It is absolutely incredible. 360 degree views of the valleys down below in Zion. This is breathtaking. It was worth the hike up here. It was worth the white knuckles on the chains to get up. We passed a few people. We lost a few people, just that turn back, not over the edge. And that caps off a perfect day here in Zion. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever wanted to come to Zion. It is truly one of the most magical and amazing places I've ever been. And just like that, I'm gonna enjoy the sunset and see you guys next time. Gareth, what are you doing down there? <laughs> what is that? This is, uh, <laughs> I've, I've <laughs> found a little, a little uh, rattlesnake gully here. <laughs> and rule number one that Bear Grylls taught me <laughs> was to get out of the wind. So we're really exposed on the top of this ridge. And I thought it'd be a good idea <laughs> to, hide myself in here like this <laughs> and this way I'd be blocked from the wind so this is just a little life lesson for you kids out there find little gullies like this stomp around make sure there's no rattlesnakes and you got a nice little nap spot while the time lapse is going <laughs> looks pretty sweet it's room for one though right uh one comfortably <laughs>